across Australia. This is Ben Liam and Bell's Late Drive! On Nova. It's a Friday, Australia. How good is this? It gets eat. It definitely is not a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is not a Friday. I think what happened there is that's a pre-recorded thing from another... T- that's very confusing. That's very confusing. Uh, so it's actually... It's a Monday. We are live. It is we Monday, are, 8th We're definitely April. live. Um, yeah. Yeah, at 6.03. Um, <laughs> anything happened in the news today that we can prove? There was asbestos in that playground. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that couldn't have happened on any other day. Confirmed. Live. Wow. Uh, wow no, I'm gonna, now I'm going to have to go through the rest of the show and make sure none of that's in hey, there. Hey, look, I'll be the first to say, last week, not live. <laughs> <laughs> this week, live. Oh, Very live. Now live. So we don't need that one. We'll just play our own. Yeah. Look, that's we, good. We, we we're did, here. Yeah, we had a week off. But we're yep. back. But look, we're back bigger and better than ever. We have got two tickets to give away to Tones and I. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, oh, oh. If you want to go see Tones and I, you can call us because we are live. 13, 24, 10. <laughs> give us a buzz if you want to go see Tones and I. We are doing the 6, 10 quiz. Um, it's five questions, very simple. You get them all right. You also get to choose the next song we play. So start calling if you want to go see Tones and I. First, it's Jack Harlow, loving on me, on Nova. No, you wouldn't get that if you weren't live, would you? <laughs> so we're live. I think it will work now. I want to talk about married foreplay. Okay. How Whoa. do you know when they're keen? Mm. Because Ben and Bell, the start of a relationship, it's all, you know, it's very, very sexy and spontaneous, as mm-hmm. we know. But once you're married, it's very, it's different. It's no frill. Mm-hmm. It's, um, you know, it's a matter of fact. And I, I mean more for people that have been married for years and years. I'm mm. sure the frills just sort of just don't exist. It's like watching the same movie again and again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the, I mean. <laughs> mo- if the movie's showing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Not that's not true. On. Sometimes, yeah. The <laughs> cinema's not, it's not working. We don't have a DVD player anymore. <laughs> um, but my, my parents' friends um, have been married for 40 odd years. Mm. My mum my told me this. I, I found this very funny. Mm. Um, she said that she always knows when her husband's keen. Mm. Because he, he'll walk in and say, Val, have you had a shower? Oh, what? <laughs> and if she says no, he'll say, do you want to have a shower? <laughs> <laughs> Which seems such like yeah. 30 to 40 years. Like, I can imagine there's a lot of people like, ah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah not familiar. I yeah. mean, Ben, you, I mean, you're uh, rather new in, in your marriage. It's mm. only been a couple of years couple now. A couple of years, yeah. Is there... I mean, does that ring true? Or well, yeah, because you've got a newborn now, so yeah. things have changed. Mm. Uh, so for me, it would be whenever Sam has changed the bedding. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hang on. If I come home and there's um, some sheets in the washing machine and then the bedding's been changed, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big sign. Isn't that's it a, the other yeah. way around? No, because I think she likes the feeling of fresh sheets. <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately making them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah. I feel like if there's fresh sheets, you go, oh, no, you just want to slip in and go straight to sleep. Yeah. You, don't to, yeah. you don't want to ruin the yeah. sheets. That's, you'd be clicking your heels if you come yeah. home there's fresh sheets yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, Liam, you're newly married as yeah. of this year. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess last year, December. Yeah. What about you? Um, Yeah. I mean, this is. I suppose this is more if I was to initiate. Mm-hmm. Um, It would just be, should I put the dog away? <laughs> uh, he's fine yeah. here. Okay, he's fine here. <laughs> he's very cute. We'll just leave him. We'll just leave him. You sure? I can put him away. <laughs> I'll put him away. I'll give him to the neighbours for a few days. <laughs> um, Bella in Melbourne. Uh, you, you're married. Tell us. Tell us how you know they're keen. I know that they're keen when Colton wins. <laughs> oh, seriously? Okay. So obviously, you know, there was a bit of a dip off in your relationship halfway through last year and then really coming up to September, my God, it must have been exhausting. That is a good one, Bella. Thank you very much. You're in the draw for Nova's first class and 50K just by getting on air. Sarah, or Sarah, sorry, joins us now in Perth. You know they're in the mood when? Um, I have a bit of a backstory. My mm. son has a 13-year-old son. And we were talking about animals and not knowing what he's asking. He asked us what our mating call is. Mm-hmm. And um, we're cracking at laughing. And then my partner goes, 
Sarah, Sarah. So now every time he's in the moat, he just makes oh. that bird call. And <laughs> <That's> uh, <funny. laughs> she wins. <laughs> and that works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. That all right. Nature. It's a literally, it's a mating call. There all right. Go. You're also in the draw for Nova's first class N50K. You can be too if you give us a buzz on 13 24 10. We want to know mm-hmm. married foreplay. Yeah, when do you know? That they're keen. Uh, Karen in Dalesford, you've been married for 30 long years. Wow. Yep, 30 of them. Mm. And they're good years, I must admit. Oh, oh that's <laughs> good. That's wonderful. But I'm, you know, of Still course, things have changed over the years. And, and what what is it now? Well, my husband actually, has, he did start it probably after we were married 10 mm. years. And mm. what he does is if he wants it, he tends to cook a dinner before I get home, <laughs> and he will always have the dinner there plus a glass of wine. So he's definitely, let's say he's definitely buttering me up. Yeah. Um, and it's working. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Karen, that means that he he would never do that for you just because he wants to. It's like, it has to be a transaction where he yeah. gets something out of it yeah, as well. That's, yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. I'm happy that you love but it. But I mean, <laughs> I'm sure if you're getting a few dinners a week out of it, you know. Happy days. It's like, well, you know, it's, everyone's happy. Uh, Karen, you're in the draw for Nova's first class and 50K. Thank you very much. Aaron in Brisbane, 13 years together. You got two kids. What is your marriage for playing? Man, so a um, bit of a story. Hmm. To lock our bedroom door, we have to jimmy a plank of wood underneath the door handle so the kids can't get in. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. So I know she's in the mood when she tells me to lock the door. <laughs> so, bring out the plank of wood, Aaron. It's time to go. Which Aaron, one? have you got the wood inside, mate? We've got to board this one up. <laughs> got to get the hammer and nails out. Let's do this thing. <laughs> uh, Abby in Sydney, 14 years together. You know they're in the mood when? Yeah, my partner's um, really into routines, and so I know he's in the mood when he doesn't put his retainer in before he goes to bed. <laughs> well, Liam can relate to that. You had a retainer, yeah. like, last year. We both have retainers that we wear each night. So when they're coming out, you know it's time. It's 6.10. Hallelujah, it's 6.10. G'day, Courtney in Adelaide. Did you get to any of the gather-round games over the weekend? Um, I didn't. It's just one of my kids' birthdays. But um, I watched as many games as I could. I'm a big footy fan. So, yeah. Well, happy birthday to your kid, one of those kids of yours. How old did they turn? Uh, Okay, so I've got an eight-year-old, seven-year-old twins, and now a three-year-old. Jeez. And who had the birthday? The three-year-old. Okay. All right. Well, happy happy birthday, little fella. uh, (laughs) Well, sad news over the weekend with Isla Fisher and Sasha Baron Cohen filing for divorce. Don't know if you saw that. Uh, Which of those two... Is Aussie? Sorry, I didn't. Uh, I didn't hear the last bit of the question. Isla sorry. Fisher or Sasha Baron yep. Cohen? Which one's the Australian? Oh, Isla Fisher. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Hey, Audi are releasing their own streetwear. Uh, what would you um, pick from the middle table at Audi if you were there right now? What would you pick from the middle table? Um. I don't know what I would get from the middle table. I, mean, I don't know you can it very get, well. You can get like a bowling ball, like motorcycle helmet. Can you though? Know, they wheels. say they, had, they, they say had, you can, but I don't know if you can. They had ski equipment the other yeah. day. There you go. All right, yeah. that works. We'll yeah. take that. Hey, a gamer from Brisbane is being accused of cheating in a game of Donkey Kong. He could be fined up to four hundred fifty thousand dollars. What animal is Donkey Kong? A monkey. Yeah, monkey. Yeah. Can you be a little bit more specific for me, Court? Um, uh, type I of monkey? Type. Um, a chimp. Chimp oh, I feel yeah. like we need to be a little bit more specific yeah. on Lost that us one. on chimp. Uh, yeah, Kate in Sydney, do you know what type of primate Donkey Kong is? Yeah, he's a gorilla. He is, he is. Uh, Hamilton Island has gone fully cashless and some people are threatening to boycott the whole place. How many cents are in $3? Um, uh, 300. Yep, bit of a thinker there. Uh, last one. Miley Cyrus's sister is in hot water after she liked Liam Hemsworth's picture on Instagram. Can you finish these Miley lyrics? I can never lie running for my life. I will always want you. 
I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> what a zero, delivery. Zero you need, vibe. You need to zero come vibe. in like a wrecking ball, okay? But, but, no, it does pass. I mean, you got the lyrics right. That's all we needed. But, yeah, we're a bit of more vibe would have been nice. Uh, you've also got two tickets to go see Tones and I. Dance for me, dance oh, for me, dance for me. No worries, Kate. Thanks for playing. And you get to choose That's the next song we play. So, do you want to hear Rogue Traders? Say no. Just say no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. Okay. Fair enough. All right. All right. Well, okay. No, that's fair. Because maybe this song can be your hero by Enrique. I can be your hero, baby. I can Ah, <laughs> you've gone well, for no on both the options. Well, okay, you're shit out yeah. of luck because they're the options. Can we something better. Oh, okay. Well, um, well, well, I mean, well, if you could pick any song, yeah, what would what's, it be? Yeah, what what's, song would you want? Yeah. Oh, I, I was going with something more recent, but I mean, um, you can give me a song. What we do, yeah. Kate, is a six ten quiz. That the song. No, but that's fine. She knows. She doesn't like old back. stuff. Yeah, you know? Kate. Okay. If, you, if there's a song that comes to mind, I can check the system for it. If that's what you want. No, just go go rogue traders. You sure? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. I feel Not bad. Just, yeah. I feel like a restaurant that couldn't cater for your yeah. order. Yeah. It feels like you're gluten-free, like you're celiac, yeah. and we're giving you some really gluten-y <laughs> bread, and we're just going to watch you eat it now. That's what feels like we're doing. Yeah. yeah. Look, Kate, we appreciate your time. You enjoy Tones and I, and um, and please tolerate Rogue Traders. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to like it. It's a good, good song. Yeah. Yeah. It's a late drive on Nova with Ben, Liam and Bell. That was the winning song. Well, we say it's the winning song um, for yeah. the 610 quiz. They didn't really want to choose it. They felt they had their arms no. tied there. Yeah, Kate, we really forced her into that. Yeah. Yeah, and even though Kate hated it, and uh, I love that song. I think it's a great song. Mm. I was pumping that along with a lot of other throwbacks on the weekend. A road trip on the weekend too, Bell. Where'd you go? Interstate uh, for a wedding in Adelaide. I've had a lot of weddings recently. Have, yeah, mm. three this year so far. <laughs> Popular guy. We should do um, 30, 24, 10. How many weddings have you attended this year alone? Like 27 Dresses, that movie. Great. Does film. she go to 27 um, She's weddings She's a in bridesmaid uh, 27 times, and she has 27 different bridesmaids. No, one, no one could possibly mm. have that many friends. Yeah. Okay, well, this you know is a I mean? rom-com. Well, but 27, <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. I'm just putting it out there, 13, 24, 10. How many, mo- uh, sorry, movies, how many uh, weddings have you been to this year alone? Liam has been to three. Yeah, if you can beat three, we'll give you movie tickets or something. Yeah, we'll, make, yeah, we'll get something. <laughs> Do you know what I noticed? Um, this is what I love about road trips. The the rural Maccas, they just hit different. Mm. Like the workers, like in the city, they're very matter of fact and they're yep. just sort of like most of the time they're like 13 and they're just, it's their first yep. job and it's kind of nice. Yep. But in the country, they're like, Honestly, they they're like, like, it, they're yeah. like canteen ladies, yeah. like at the footy club. You know, yeah. they, 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 like you pull up to the speaker and, and they'll just be like, hey, you going down? Yeah. <laughs> You go, oh yeah, and you, you order, and, the, and then you come up to the thing. They go, anything else for your love? Yeah. <laughs> and I like they just—it's just a bit, you know, salt of the earth. Yeah, absolutely. Are they really? I you, thought it'd you've be You've never like... been to a Macca's regionally? No, it's I different. It is so different. Yeah. And sometimes it's a—I would say it's a little bit slower, but the service is better. Yeah. Like As... you, I was at the window talking to this lady for like thirty seconds. The car's behind me. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. You really got to keep this going. Like, yeah. This is a drive through She's like, ah. Oh, just bloody chockers. We had Easter last yeah. weekend. And you had your gathering, and oh, it's been non-stop. And I was kind of really enjoying my time, but I couldn't. It's fast food, you know. We got to keep it chop chop. How long did you have to work for the perk? Okay, thirteen, twenty, four, ten. If you get on air, you go on the draw for Nova's first class and fifty k. What do you get for ten years? Get like a watch or something? Or... I think you get like a a bit of time off. Do you? Off anyway, really. yeah. Okay, well. Yes, we're lucky. Imagine but... if you imagine if after doing ten years of on air broadcasting at Nova, you got to like you got to program the entire days of music. That'd be awesome. Like you got every song that played. Was I would be you got playing to like DMX and like yeah, yeah. It's uh, gonna give it to yeah. what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like yeah. wild Slipknot and stuff. So the reason I ask is because I caught up with a mate on the weekend, and I hadn't seen them in a while, and so you, you know you're doing a lot of catching up. And I said, "Is your brother still working at the cinema?" And he said, oh, yeah, mate, he'll never leave there. He'll never leave the cinema. And I said, why not? And he said, this is true, and he said, because when he gets to the 20 year of service, 20th mm. year of service, he gets free movies for life. No way. So he gets to walk into the cinema and watch any movie whenever he wants That's to watch sick. it. That's sick. Just come in, flash a card around, yeah. I'd imagine. Yep. Yeah. And then just sit in and watch any movie. Yep. But I believe, and this is the part that I found funny, I believe 
it has to be at that specific cinema. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that yeah. That's okay. Okay. So it's not like a chain thing. So oh, just, I thought just, it was a chain so thing. So it's just like, a, like all the Hoyts or whatever. Yeah, it's just yeah. like that it's specific specifically way. that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So oh. if that ever goes under, you didn't yeah, work you lose, <laughs> Yeah, you have to do another 20 years yeah. at, at another <laughs> you know, establishment. Yeah. Before do you, you can... know like how close is he? Uh, I believe they're about halfway through oh, their tenure. <laughs> It'd be enough to keep me going, I think. <laughs> just purely because. Yeah, but like movies get more expensive yeah. like just with inflation and stuff. So that's yeah. going to be, you think, in 10, 10 15 are we years. Have yeah. In 10 oh, years? I would hope so. I mean, movies are always. I hope out. for that guy's sake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't yeah, want to work, work that hard for the perk and then you lose the perk. 13, 24, 10. How long did you have to work for the perk? Give us a buzz. Tom has done just that in Melbourne. How long did you have to work for the perk, Tom? Hey, guys. So I am a flight attendant. Mm. So we had to initially wait six months to access staff travel when I started. Mm -hmm. But then the real perk is if you work five years, um, after that five years, if you quit, you get staff travel for however long you did your service for. So if you quit after five, you get five. But if you work for 20, you get 20. Hang on. as As in unlimited free flights? No, not free. You but get the very staff discount. Discounted. That's right. pretty good. And so, because isn't it like you can get on emergency lists and that sort of stuff as well, which is like next yeah, to nothing, it's, really. It's, it's basically standby, but you know, mm. the Russian roulette and fun of staff travel. But um, yeah, very cheap flights and access to business class and things like that. Oh, so wow. it's a pretty you're good kidding. deal. You're getting, That's a good the, one. you're getting into lounges and things as well. No, unfortunately, the pilots do, but the flight attendants do not. Oh, wow. oh so do the pilots get access to the lounge because they're a pilot? Is that how that works? Correct. Feels yes. like a bit of slap Double in the standard. face. <laughs> yeah, I think that's yeah. fair. They're flying the no, thing. The, oh, what are you no, trying to say? Well, Tom's, Tom's, Tom's having to walk around in people's farts and handing things out and dealing <laughs> yeah. with people's crap. Do you crap. want to try and land a plane? Yeah, I know. But so, the, Bill, hang on. So, Bill, you're saying <laughs> that pilots are more important than flight this attendants. This is a good one. Tom, you hearing this? <laughs> I am hearing this. And who's going to evacuate you in an emergency? Yeah, yeah. that's right, sister. Who's going to put the blow-up bloody thing out? I mean, people, if they're willing and able in the emergency rows, for starters, Tom, I listen to the things. I respect you guys. Yeah, but the pilot's trying to keep the plane in oh, the air. Bill okay. <laughs> Jackson at Nova Entertainment, if you yeah. want to email your complaints. Well, if she had her way, there would be no such thing as flight attendants. It would just be <laughs> pilots and Bill. Who would you rather be? Oh. <laughs> I'm I mean, sorry, Tom. you are just... Tom, are you still going to listen to this show? Honestly, I would, if I were you, Tom, I probably wouldn't. Tom, to me, I was I'm like... I'm tuning out after this. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's so funny. I, 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 wanted... Bell, you have my back, but <laughs> I wanted to be a flight attendant for a very long time, and now I have a fear of flying. So I think... Oh, now you want to be one. I'm... Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Now I've I just... always respected him a lot. I was like, yeah, actually, nearly did the course myself. Nearly did the course myself. Tune in tomorrow for Bell's on-air public apology to flight attendants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got a big hour of radio coming up for you this evening. Bill, what are you most looking forward to? To be honest, we need to talk about the guy who has run the length of Africa. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah, that guy's wild. The hardest geezer, they're calling him. Liam, what are you most looking forward to? Well, to be honest, I think I was the one who was most keen to talk about the hardest geezer. <laughs> and everyone, I feel like Bill, <laughs> Bill I've been talking about him all day, and then Bill's like, oh, I'm keen to talk about that guy running through Africa. Yeah. And I looked at Liam and he looked at If anything, I think Bell wasn't too wild on the story and I was really trying to sell it to you guys on how I've, awesome it is. See, so. I, get, I get death stares a lot from Ben. Mm. Like I say stuff, I look at Ben and he just glares at me. I've ne- I never get them from Liam, but I got my first. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> oh, really? You keen for that now? Okay. A fun thing with the show, if you listen closely every now and then, you'll notice one of the things I like to do at, you know, around this time, I like to say to Bill, what are you most looking forward to? And put her on the spot because she does panic. Yeah, but I always have something. Yeah, and you then do. I, if I did that to you, <laughs> yeah. you would melt through the desk. <laughs> Bad day to be Ned Brockman. Tell you what, his legacy's just been blasted into smithereens. Um, obviously, Ned Brockman, great guy around mm-hmm. Australia, raised a lot of money for charity. Uh, but this did Ned, did Ned go from Perth to Sydney? Yeah, correct. Yeah, yep. ended up in Bondi and had picked up a hell of a lot of steam yeah. and hype by that point and raised like one point. Eight five million mm-hmm. charity, which is great, um, but yeah, it all means nothing today because Russ Cook, uh, the hardest geezer, he's being called, has become the first person to run the entire length of the continent of Africa. Day three hundred and thirty-seven of running the entire length of Africa. Mate, you're getting hit with another sandstorm this morning. Sucking oxygen, chewing sand for breakfast. They're trying to get me gone, but they just can't. 
I'm too damn ferocious, boys and girls. Two weeks to go. See you in Tunisia. I mean, that's incredible. Is that Russell Brand? It sounds like Russell Brand, doesn't <laughs> it? It does sound like Russell Brand, yeah. <laughs> So imagine if Russell Brand, because of all the stuff going on, he's just rebranded into this guy <laughs> running across Africa. I'll now run across Africa. How long did it take him? Uh, it took him 352 days, just under a year. How many Ks? 16,000 Ks. So how many a day? Is that that impressive? It's a lot of days. It's I a mean, lot, it's, it's a lot it's, of days. It's, 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 <laughs> That's like a year. I mean, Ned Brock is. Yeah, like you could yeah, walk, I know. Can you like, walk in a year? No, you couldn't. Not at all. He was doing over a marathon a day. Well, Ned did two and a half marathons a day. He did yeah. 100 Ks a day. 80 K a day on average. I looked into it. <laughs> I, it's still more impressive, though. I feel like, cause I feel no, like Ned went harder mm, for a shorter period Ned of time. Ned did 4,000 Ks. This bloke's just done 16,000 Yeah, Ks. over a year. Yeah, but it's still. You reckon you get up every day? <laughs> That's a, yeah, you run Dude, a marathon. Are you in, kidding me? If you're you running a marathon in six hours, you've still got a lot of time to rest. Mate, you got eighteen hours. Yeah, you got, yeah, 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 but like that's over. Like over a marathon a day. Yeah, he was obviously training for that. Yeah, but this dude was squiggling. Like he Ned just went straight across, and I mean, I know it's a vast country, yeah, but he just cut straight across. This guy squiggled. He was like he started at the most southern point of Africa in this mm. small village that I've never heard of. Mm. And then he ran up the entire West Coast. So he was squiggling mm. through South Africa, Nambia, like Angola. He squiggled mm. through Liberia there, Senegal. Mm. And he ended up in Tunisia, like basically near like Italy and Spain, the very top of Africa. I just think if you told me he ran Africa in a couple of months, I'd be with you. You're, are you, so are, you're, you're saying that that's more not... K's per day. If you told me he ran the world in a year, I'd be like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but <laughs> Ned, 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 pun- Ned went hard, yeah, but yeah. after a month and a half, he's putting his feet up. And yeah, he got maggots in his feet and stuff, but he's yeah. putting them up. <laughs> this dude this dude spent, like, think of every day that you did stuff last yeah. year, like talked yeah. on the radio, whatever, yeah. slept, sat on your ass. Yeah. He's running through, like, Liberia <laughs> and, like, desert. He got held up at gunpoint at Gee. one stage. Yeah, it was dangerous. Like, he was going through some, some interesting spots. Yeah. So you're saying, so to impress Ben... Someone needs to run the world in yes. a year. That's me. Like, because to me, if you go the world a year, that f- computes in my brain. Do you know, Liam, what Ben um, said to me before the show started? He no. said, Oh, went for a run today. And mm. I oh, said, did you do oh, 45K? Yeah. That's what Russ Cook would have done um, today and did, yesterday and the day before. He did, uh, he did the block. He said, I ran a block. I did, um, I did 1.2Ks. <laughs> and he said, Yeah, chest pain. <laughs> and he couldn't chest breathe. Pain. I that, had, yeah, I had and just, just remind me, do you live in the Liberian <laughs> desert or were you were you just going around the block? It was yeah. just oh, a suburban block. Just yeah. in Melbourne, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> hey, right up after this, Ben and Liam, I need to tell you, I think I have discovered the grossest thing in the world. If you're going to say it's me, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> Because I, yeah, I know, I know we like to have light fun here, and it's all like you know. But I, I, I don't think I could cope with that. Today. Bill, he'll go to HR. I'll go to HR again. Yeah, they're called PX here. <laughs> I couldn't find them the first time. It took me ages on the emails. So, yeah, PX. Well, mate, get them ready. Oh, oh yeah, out. yeah. At people experience no. Actually, now don't everyone email. Them, actually, sorry don't, about that. My don't. experience with Bill was not very good. <laughs> hey Ben, Liam, hmm. what do you think is the grossest? most germ-covered thing that we all just communally use? I'm worried to say mine because I'm worried I'm going to steal yours, Bill. No, nah, I don't think you'll steal mine. Because for me, the, the grossest thing ever is if you... Trucker stop. <laughs> they are <laughs> otherworldly. Because them, them truckers, I don't know if you've seen their diets, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it's no dose, yep. wing dings, yep. mother energy drink. Yep. Yeah, but... And when that's got to come out of you, that's got to come out of you quick. And, yeah. so, and you've got to keep on the road. And it's this weird mix of, of fear because of what's in there, but also there's like usually like a red back on the sea. And yeah. it, Wait, is there the... a drop toilet on the side? Well, or they could like... be drop toilets. They could be they I could reckon have a, water I would prefer a drop toilet than those... Um, scary sort of steel prison ones that they have, <laughs> yeah, you know, the those sort of, yeah. and they never have lids on them. And you're like, yeah. what is that? Yeah. yeah, you just still got to hover over it. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, mine's not that, right. but that is gross. I Liam. mean, I would, yeah, similar for me. It's mm. so, weirdly, I just really don't like toilet 
door, like public toilet doors. Like mm. I, I'm not really a germaphobe, but I really don't like touching. And I know, you, in theory, you should have washed your hands by mm. that point. And but I, you, you can't trust other what people. What scares me with that is when you are using a public toilet and you see the handles worn where everyone touches it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like to, I like when they have those foot things. Yeah. You, you know, you drag it back with your. See, foot. that's mm-hmm. the thing. So there's things like the foot things, but then mm. also you could argue that. Toilets do get cleaned, like whether it's rare oh, or not, they do rarely. get cleaned. The truck stops, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes they have the chart with paper. I just did a road trip. <laughs> this is like fresh, yeah. and it will have someone like you have like Jan, and yeah. then it will have like August two thousand and three <laughs> written next to it, and you're like, oh, okay, well, you know, at least they're sort of coming in and cleaning it sometimes. Yeah, but see, with those like with those toilets, mm. you know, not to touch things. You know, okay, yep. yeah, and no, I'm just going to be careful. Get in and out. I get you. You're heightened to the presence yeah. of germs. Mm. I think I've found something that we are all just turning a blind eye to mm-hmm. and that we go, yeah, no worries. Communal blankets at cafes, wineries, restaurants. Mm. I went to a winery on the weekend mm. and the lovely girl there was like, oh, we've got communal blankets. Would you like to use one? Mm. And I was like, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll take a few. But then I turned and I looked and I saw a family sitting with some blankets mm. And one of the kids, who was probably about two or three, sneezed into the blanket. Yeah. Snot came flying out, then coughed into it. The mum just went, oh, yeah, don't worry about it. Mm. Then that kid was just, like, running around with the blanket. Mm. Then I watched a guy. I looked the other way, and there was, like, a guy stuffing his face with food. And a blob of food just, like, rolled out of his mouth, down his chin, and then onto the blanket. Ugh. He then smooshed it into the blanket <laughs> and then just <laughs> rolled it up off. and put yeah. it away. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, I don't think this has ever been washed. And I went over and I looked mm. in the basket and they were like sitting there with crap all over them. Mm. Yeah. And I just, I was like, I don't want to be that Karen, but do I mm. walk up and say, excuse me, when was the last time you washed these? Did you abuse the stuff? No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> if, if there's some sort of like iPhone footage that pops up on Twitter <laughs> of like crazy Nova host <laughs> screaming at I just, Paul I, one I think stuff. Ben and I would like the heads up. It's always say if this is you sort of sort of teasing that out, that would be great if we could just get the full picture now. Well, I did instead what I did was she had handed it to me yeah. and then I did that thing where you, and I think maybe this is ruder, but I like pinched it with two fingers and yeah. then just like put it back mm. in the basket yeah. and that was it. But like, I don't think I've ever used a communal blanket before. Well, no, I, like, you won't look at them the same I, now. And I trust you. I believe you. Mm. They're at cafes. They're everywhere. They'll get I reckon that's soft if you're getting it. Do you know what I mean? blanket, yeah. Yeah, like if you're just coming in for breakfast night and you're having a little blanket around you, like <laughs> I, I, and guess what? When I'm when I'm at home, guys, I love putting a little blanket on the on the on the, on the couch. But I wouldn't. Well, I I'm just telling you guys that because you're my friends. But I wouldn't want people knowing. <laughs> you like, want to broadcast? Yeah, 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 for sure. Like in public, I wouldn't want someone seeing me with a blanket on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's, it's weakness. Just feels, yeah, yeah, it's definitely weakness. Yeah. How did you catch the cheater? Mm. If you've been cheated on or if you know someone uh, that caught their partner cheating, 13, 24, 10, if you give us a buzz and you get on air, you'll be in the draw for Nova's First Class and 50K. You can also remain anonymous if you don't want to give us your name. Of course. We love a good anonymous Mm -hmm. caller here. Uh, So there's a guy that's releasing a book and, and get this, it's a book on how to cheat and not get caught. I, I would just... say if you had that book, that would be pretty bad. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Like sign number one. Yeah. That's a good <laughs> how, point. How do you know if your husband's cheating? If he's bought this book that Bell's talking about. If you're, if you're, going, you're doing some light reading in bed next to each other, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, that I'm doing be... normal people. What about you? Yeah. Oh, it's how to get away with cheating. That would be a great video if you were gutsy <laughs> enough to record secretly in the bedroom oh, true. on your partner if they were reading and then you got that book. <laughs> it's literally called like how to be unfair faithful and get away with it. I, I think It's my, available on Amazon if you want it. Mm, I think we should actually do that as well. We should do that. My though, wife yeah. would already think it's weird if I opened a book. She'd just be like, what the heck <laughs> yeah. is going on here? Well, so in this book, um, there's also like a list of like, hey, these are the, the stock standard things that people do when they're cheating that you might not think about that is a clue. So this, these could be good warning signs, you know? Yeah, if you, if you're listening going, oh, hang on. This is what Trev's been doing mm. the last but couple But, like, of you know the usuals where it's like, oh, you know, they have their phone and they put it face down mm. or they yeah. don't let you check. They're like, yeah, 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 whatever. You know, ch- hide your Google Maps history. Mm. Yeah, 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 basic. These are the ones that he's saying, like, this is what you don't think about that you need to think about. Okay. So if, you, if their car is really clean and smells of air freshener, probably cheating. Or could it, could it just be they've gone to KFC <laughs> or something and they just sort of, mm. you know... Want to like freshen no, no. up a little bit? It's because their lover has been in the car and okay. left the perfume. I oh. see. Right. If they've started helping around the house more, because it's covering their guilt. 
probably cheating. Well, come Started on. Started doing the dishes. Well, I'll be cheating. sure to keep my jobs at a minimum because <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to alarm yeah. anyone. He's very tired and says, oh, it's weird. I must have insomnia. I'm so tired. Probably cheating. Oh, right. Because... Mm-hmm. Could cheating. it not be a big day at work? Something like just like no, no, of... cheating. Okay. Mm. Mentally, like a cheating is very mentally straining. Apparently, mm-hmm. so they're they're always tired, but just can so never catch up. If your partner's tired and helping around the house, guaranteed they're cheating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably just divorce them now. I <laughs> yeah, <laughs> suddenly got yourself a real Another handful one, there. If, if they're never available at lunchtime. <laughs> no, what are you? Who's available at lunchtime? <laughs> uh, even if you go, hey, let's catch up for lunch. They go, no, no, I can't. Cheating. I've got work. Yeah. No, cheating. Right, okay. Because that's apparently the prime time to catch up with your lover. And finally, if they're seeing their friends a lot. <laughs> God forbid. God forbid they have friends. <laughs> because apparently they'll go, okay, Friday night, oh, I'm just going to hang with the lads. Hmm. They'll rock up, make the alibi, be there for like 15 minutes, and then go see their partner. Well, look, who are, who are we to be the judge? I mean, Bianca in Melbourne, you've unfortunately been cheated on. Uh, any of these signs uh, ringing true to you? Um, I could actually say those signs ring true, but yeah. I'd say he was pretty busy in the three months that he had an affair. Oh. Um, my ex and I owned a tattoo studio overseas and I had come back to Australia because I was pregnant. Mm-hmm. And when I returned, um, I was going through like the Facebook page just on recent bookings and mm-hmm. checking everything um, and found this beautiful back job. Um, it was a full job of a peacock and I was like, wow, I love this. Like, who's this customer? And he just kind of acted a little bit weird and I was like, oh, that's a bit strange. And so the next day when I was like looking back into it and doing some more research because I liked it, um, I reached out to the lady who was now back in her country of origin yeah. and just said, you know, I'm just after some feedback on your recent experience and she kind of wigged out. Um, I guess by me saying I want feedback on your recent experience and then um, just one thing led to another and we started messaging each other and she was like, look, you know, I didn't know he was with you Um, and she'd actually been overseas um, in a three-month affair with him um, and he was also telling her, you know, get me a visa, get me a visa while I was sorting him out a visa back here in Australia. Oh, Um, God. And and just another detail, you were pregnant when you went back. I was, yeah, five months pregnant when I went back to sort out our future. And and the worst part of it is I can never get that tattoo, even though I love it, (laughs) I can never get that tattoo. Of course. Oh, that's a tragic story, but we appreciate you sharing, You know, instead of a peacock, you should get like a lion and just prove like courage and that you you've you've trekked on you got this. Bianca, you're now in the draw for Nova's first class N fifty k. Thank you very much. We're talking catching cheaters thirteen twenty four ten. Gab in Sydney, how'd you catch the cheater? So basically, I had a bit of a premonition actually, um, like a dream during the night that my partner was cheating on me through an Apple Watch, and I woke up and I was in a panic, and I was like, oh, like I just I could see the Apple Watch just sitting on the on the bench. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I have to go through it, like crazy girl vibe. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was just like flicking through that up watch. It's the middle of the night, mm. and I just it takes a little while to load because if you've deleted content off your iPhone, um, people automatically think it deletes off the Apple Watch as well, but it doesn't. Oh. Fun fact. Um, <laughs> so you have to delete it twice. Oh. Um, on the Apple Watch and on the iPhone, but um, basically as I've scrolled back up through the messages all these new messages have loaded and I've seen like not only one consistent girl but a whole lot of um, yeah other other girls no involved in cheating as well. So oh, he was a busy, busy boy. So did you wake him up? Um, initially I was like, I don't know what to do. Like I've never been in this situation before. Um, and I was like, he doesn't deserve to be sleeping so peacefully right now. <laughs> <laughs> So I did wake him up. Well, I got, I started to get changed because I was like, I'm going to leave. And yeah. I made enough noise that it stirred him yeah. to wake. Nice. And then I was like, <laughs> hell no. But yeah, unleashed the wrath. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. And that's, Gab, I've just got a vision because those, those screens are so tiny. Yeah. And I'd imagine if there's a lot, you'd have to furiously <laughs> scroll on the, you dog. Like, I just, you know, it's like so small that you'd be, that your finger would have been so sore. Oh, Gab. No, that's it was, brutal. It Tense. Yeah. It tends to scroll that long. Great story. Well told, Gab. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing. We do appreciate it. You're in the draw for Nova's first class N fifty K. Sarah in Brisbane. Good evening. Now, your mum was the cheater? 
Yeah, yeah. So I was like 14 or 15, um, and it was the first time I was ever left home alone. Mm. And, you know, what else would a 14 or 15-year-old do than snoop around the entire house? Mm. <laughs> um, I, did, I did very different things, actually, when I was left home and I was 14 and 15. I'm not going to lie to you, Sarah. I wasn't doing too much snooping around, I can assure you of that. <laughs> well, I, um, yes, yeah, so I was having a little look through her room and um, found her diary. Yeah. And she was actually, she um, detailed her entire affair in her diary. Oh. And, um, yeah, and I just felt so, like, obviously shocked. And I didn't want to be the reason why my whole family broke up. So yeah. I just kept it, kept it a secret for about 10 years. Oh, my God. Sarah, was there, was there a part of you that thought maybe this could be like a, like a fantasy, sort of Fifty Shades of Grey type thing where it wasn't real and mum was just, you know, writing some sort of erotic Fan fiction, or it, just, it was real? Was it real? Yeah, no, nah, I think it was real. Like, ah. because I knew the person who it was, and um, you know, the, the details are a bit like, as in, like, more. It felt very real because it was sort of talking about, so, you know, didn't want to disappoint her family. Oh, Sarah, what, what a burden, though, and and that is huge that you kept it for a decade. Did yeah, you well, then I, reveal it? What happened? Um. Uh, well, my parents actually eventually split up, and I told my dad after they broke up. So, and how did he take and, that? Yeah, he, he suspected it, so it kind of, um, he, it, I think for him it was actually a bit of closure to know that he mm. wasn't crazy. Can I ask, <laughs> wow. who, and you don't have to say if you don't want to, can I ask who the guy was? Because you said that you did know who they were. Yeah, it was just a family friend. So, <sighs> um, yeah. So they, they weren't friends anymore, luckily, but yeah, no, dad, yeah, he sort of suspected it, so... Mm. But yeah, I don't talk to my mum anymore. So. Yeah. I was going to ask Sarah if you if you guys still talk. But, I mean, that um, is like the most yeah. brutal thing I can imagine. Mm. Man. Yeah. To hold on to that for, from such a young age. It's Sarah. such a burden to be like the child that knows that secret. And as you said, then you didn't want to be responsible for tearing up the family. Oh, I mean, to write about it in your diary, though. Sorry, but like. What did I think? So brave. <laughs> <Yeah. emotional. laughs> you want to get caught? Yeah. Sarah, thank you so much for sharing that personal story. You're now in the draw for Nova's first class and 50K. So, Liam, what were you doing when you were 14 in the house by yourself? Basketball hoop, man. Just practicing. <laughs> Just shooting yeah. hoops. Yeah. Shooting hoops. <laughs> shooting something. Oh. Did we all watch uh, WrestleMania? No, but I did hear that I Show Speed got uh, RKO'd. Is that right? He did, he did by Randy Orton. Did you hear about yeah. that? What just came out of your mouth? Oh, I Show Speed, the streamer. He got RKO'd by Randy Orton. Yeah, there's a streamer called I Show Speed. Strange mm. name. Chris Ronaldo. Silly. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Are you uh, okay? No, all the gaming kids would know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the kids yeah, with yeah. headsets on would know. Yeah. And so I Show Speed, who's a streamer, he turned up at WrestleMania, which is the big one for the year. And he got RKO'd, which is a wrestling move, by a guy called Randy Orton. Oh, very uh, easy to understand, <laughs> yeah. Bill. Okay. I don't so so we understand. said, hey, we're just going to like talk about the podcast here. And yep. like, you know, we're going to And then I was like, watching... all right, see you. Have a great night. Yep. And then suddenly Ben's like, you watch WrestleMania? I was watching WrestleMania what? highlights during that song. Are you so... serious? Yes. I was just enjoying Whatever by Ava Max myself. Yeah. I was just sort of vibing minutes. out over here. Um, yeah. And Cody Rhodes, for the first time ever, <laughs> WWE. Cody Rhodes is his name, <laughs> WWE champion. Didn't Logan Paul become a champ as well? He already was the. He's oh. the uh, American champion. There the you US go. Champion. So yeah, yep. yeah, Liam. So what's yep. the difference between US champion and world champion? Uh, US is not as good as right. world champion or WWE champion. A lot of champions. A lot of champions. And as the Intercontinental Champion. I mean, now they're just taking the piss. That's not <laughs> Well, even... that's been around for a while. Okay. Well, who's yeah. the Intercontinental? So it's like, it's like, who's, it's like, who's the best Intercontinental? I don't know who it is. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. It's not, <laughs> yeah, true. you know, it's just like, I'm the Australasian Champion of yeah. WWE. It's like, okay, well, well, they're all American anyway. So, like, being... Well, look, we've lost Belle. Yeah. Um, if you have an interest in wrestling, we do do an exclusive podcast. Yeah. Not about we... just wrestling, but yep. it's just There's like... There's some wrestling There is a bit of... Yeah. Yep. yeah. I mean, today's one... Today's off air podcast was a lot about um the june franchise um actually <laughs> so make sure you check that out again um against bill's wishes yeah yeah, june yeah. Chat. yeah bill yeah. doesn't get much of a say in what happens in the off air <laughs> podcast that's for no. sure bill, what did you what's the most recent thing you've watched what's the most recent haven't got time I sorry <laughs> we, oh, wow. no, we are wrapping up yeah we, we talked wow. about wrestling too much it's too much wrestling chat i'm sorry for more great comedy shows like this head to novapodcasts.com.au